Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hello everyone, looking at Tesla daily, weekly, and shorter term time frame. So the bears were out in force. We have very clear resistance on Tesla. Look at these rejections this past week with all upper big wick showing profit taking. 204.21, 204.14, and 203.88. Incrementally lower highs. Bulls did buy the dip on Thursday. So we have a very clear scenario where we have a tightening range of lower highs, with big upper wicks, but higher lows with bulls buying the dip. Obviously, we didn't see that today, and it was a big dump in volume. Volume on Thursday, 2.5 million. Volume Friday, 4 million, about a 60% increase. So the bears are in full control. We close down at the low of the day. We have two support levels to be watching, 195.80, and then down to 193.45. Looking at the weekly time frame, we can see it's all really about this 200-week moving average. That's going to be in the low 190s this coming week. And if we break that 193.45 level, it's up to this 200-week support and then 187.87. And that's really the, the line in the sand. We lose 187.87. The bears have a long way to go to the downside to drive the price down to 141 support down there. So that's the key level to be watching. Still higher lows on the weekly as long as that level does hold. But again, with the week close on the week and on the day, we do look to be headed to test those low 190s this coming week. So looking at Tesla on the hourly time frame, there were some signals for weakness today. The first being watching the price action Thursday. We see a big dump and then a bounce. Rejection from the 20 period moving average resistance to start the day. Another rejection, a third rejection. And then we started today above that level and very quickly lost it. So we say, okay, what period today, at what point did we know to go bearish? Look at where support was established on Thursday. We saw a big bounce, consolidated, and formed support at 199.03. As soon as we broke that level, we knew the next level of support was down at the low of Thursday, 197.05. So essentially a $2 move to the downside. Once that consolidation low broke, and it broke in the first hour of trading on big bear volume, and then you can see very easy move to the downside the rest of the day. So looking at it on the five minute time frame, that dump first thing, we broke that level. Let's actually get that two-day up there so we can see what we're looking at here. So that consolidation low was down here at 199.03, and we lost it in the first 15 minutes of trading. We dumped it and fell through that level. A uh, oversold bounce occurred on the five-minute time frame before heading back down. Let's zoom back in. And we had then very clearly higher low, lower high. Now we have a lower low testing the low of the day. And then from there, the 20 period moving average resistance was grinding the price to the downside. We did close above it a couple times, no follow through, continued to the downside, and we closed very weak. So you can see the absolute lack of a bounce. The bulls were nowhere to be found on Tesla today, and that we're going into next week with that same scenario. We are seeing a little bit of after hours action. I don't pay too much attention to after hours. Pre-market, I pay a lot of attention to. So we'll see if this carries over into Monday. But you can look at the hourly time frame, and that after hours action does look like a potential bear flag, which would lead to continuation to the downside. We had that big dump, and then a small move to the upside before potential continuation to the downside. So 196.34 is support, and we're looking down at 194.47. And then that 200-week moving average support just above 190. So bears in full control of Tesla. We'll see if that remains the case in the next week. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for all the likes and the shares. Have a great weekend.